argument this morning in Case 06-1195, Boumediene v. Bush, and Case 06-1196, El Oda v. United States. All have been confined at Guantanamo for almost six years, yet not one has ever had meaningful notice of the factual grounds of detention or a fair opportunity to dispute those grounds before a neutral decision maker. We don't look at the length of detention in deciding whether habeas is available, do we? Do, do you have a single case in the 220 years of our, of our country, or for that matter, in the, 500, the five centuries of, uh, of, 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 of uh, uh, the English Empire, in which habeas was granted to an alien in a territory that was not under the sovereign control of either the United States or England? The answer to that is a resounding yes. What is, what they is the are the cases that were discussed and cited by the majority opinion in Rasul. Uh, let, me, let me say about the, the DTA and the MCA, it really does represent the best efforts of the political branches, both political branches, to try to balance the interest in providing the detainees in this admittedly unique situation additional process they with do the imperative to, 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 to successfully prosecute the global war on terror. They get additional process. The question, I guess, is whether it's an adequate substitute for having withdrawn the writ of habeas corpus. Well, my name's Tom Wilner, and I've been involved in these cases for five and a half years. Um, this is, you know, a critical moment, I think, for our uh, for our country, and really for the issue of whether um, whether people are entitled to a, a fair hearing before they're locked up forever. Good morning. My name is David Reams. I represent 12 Yemenis. I think one thing you saw in the argument today was the concern that people have been at Guantanamo and not yet had a fair hearing or a fair trial despite six years of imprisonment. David Reams. Also one of the counsel for the petitioners, Dave. It's, extraordinary it's ridiculous. The Bush regime is holding defend the Constitution. Restore the judiciary. Defend the Constitution. Restore habeas corpus. 